<laughs> All right, it's base time. I'm here with Parks. Park, how you doing? Hey, I'm great. Good, good. Talk to me about this bad boy. Um, this pretty much has been drugged behind a truck. Uh, it's a 72 Rickenbacker 4001. It was at one point. And the guy who owned it before me was a lefty, so he chopped off the big horn, chopped the headstock down, and played it like that. And so uh, when I got it back, it had, be, it had been restrung for righty. And it was a mess. It was a total wreck. I mean, all of the insides were messed. It was just like, it was only Man. mono. I had to get a new wiring harness. The serial number's been scratched off, and somebody's social security number is scratched in here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like that's a pawn deal gone yeah, wrong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was hot. I'm, I think somebody stole it at some point, but I don't know. <laughs> and uh, it's got this weird leather patch on the back, which I really like. And yeah, this has just been my main thing for a couple of years now. Uh, I traded an amp for it and a drum. Robbie helped me out. And <laughs> oh, really? It, I got it from a store here in town called Fanny's House of Music. Do you have any trader's remorse? No. Okay, Actually, okay. I, did, I did love that amp. It was an old Baldwin uh, Professional 112 with the push button okay. EQ. It was, it was cool, but you can find those for like 300 bucks. I've been seeing you guys play for a couple of years, and so like now that I have the full story, it makes sense, because at the time, I'm like, man, what right, bass right, is right. up there? Some people get really mad. Uh, they'll come and go, what did you do to that bass? Why did you do that? And I'm like, hey, you know. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that, but... I think but, you we know. get one time. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so pretty much just... And there's not really strap locks. It's just like washers and pieces that I stole from other parts of the base. And uh, yeah, it's good. It's... Uh, I think they only... This is like a rare one, too. Something about the inlays makes it a specific thing, so... Sharp tooth. Yeah. And um, is the pickup still... Like, I imagine the pickups... Pickups are original. Uh, the bridge is original. The guys at Eastside Music Supply were the only ones that I could actually get it in tune. Uh, Derek at Eastside, he had to move the whole bridge back and shave these down, and yeah, it, it didn't stay in tune for a long time. Is it time, pretty good now, though? It's great. Cool. Yeah, it plays great. I love it a lot. I really love this stupid, stupid bass. <laughs> and what strings are you using on it? Um, they are half rounds. They're, yeah, like 105 half rounds. I like the feel. Because when I'm playing with a pick, it brightens up, and yeah. fingers, it's it's real mellow and bluesy. So uh, I think half like Diodario half round 105s is what I have on this now, and they're really the first string that I can be like, oh wow, I can I notice the difference, and I like the way that they yeah. play. Yeah, and is this the this is the only bass that you tour with? It's the only bass that I own. And speaking of other guitars, or I guess other stringed instruments, I'll hand you this one. Yeah, sure. Talk to me about this little project. That's a Rick as well. Um, this is a 66 450 12 and when I got it it was just the shell there was it was the pit guard and just the body and nothing else so I had to buy all of the components and had it routed out for these uh, or just had the pit guard routed for these duotrons which these are cool uh, Paul Yandel I think that's his name it's like something to do with Chet Atkins he made these a long time ago and they never got made mm -hmm. and then they just started them back up a couple yeah, years ago Jones. I guess so they, they sound great. Um, it's just two masters and a master tone. So volume, volume, tone, and three-way. Eight string, I got these from Stumac. It took a lot of doing, a lot of getting the wrong parts and having to <laughs> yeah. send them back because I didn't know exactly what I was doing. And the bridge was the hardest part, I think, because I couldn't figure out a way to make it an eight string. And I knew that they had 12 string this was a 12 string at one point and I couldn't find a 12 string bridge and then I realized it just stuffed them down in the yeah. same holes so after that it was a breeze <laughs> so uh, the guys at Eastside put this together as well and what are you tuning in it to is it like a standard or is it like a fist like a mandolin or what how are you doing that this is the same as Ben's uh, Gretsch it's D-A-C-J-E okay. okay. which is the only tuning that I play in gotcha and what song would you bring this out for uh, Talisman Open Passageways Call Me Star and yeah, th I think those so are So these three. guys are pretty much package deals, so if Ben's what, grabbing the Gretsch... If he's, if he's playing a Gretsch, I'm playing this. Gotcha.